If you're anything like me, you're all about traveling, but wow, everything seems to cost so much these days. Scoring a vacation for under a grand can feel like finding a needle in a haystack. So in this video, I wanted to share with you five trips, all for $1,000 or less that you can book right now. I'll also link the details on where to book them in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I create videos centered around living a balanced life and solo travel adventures. And if that's your thing, I'd be incredibly grateful if you hit the subscribe button. It truly helps and supports my channel. And if you do, drop a comment saying I subscribed and I'll be sure to reply. All right, let's talk about travel and get you started on planning your next adventure. So first up, Mexico. Beaches, unlimited meals and drinks, kayaks, snorkeling, what more could you ask for? For this Mexico trip, you're gonna head over to allinclusiveoutlet.com and you're gonna scroll down, click on the see all deals, then on the left-hand side of the screen, select the destination Mexico. When I did my search, I found 12 deals, all all-inclusive resorts with airfare for four to five days, priced under $1,000. 12 deals priced under $1,000. Now, I'm a huge fan of all-inclusive resorts, not having to worry about prices when you're ordering food and drinks. That really helps me to relax and enjoy my vacation time. Plus, if you book on allinclusiveoutlet.com, you also get the option to finance your trip through a firm, so you don't have to pay all that cash up front. The next option is a hassle-free way to travel with your accommodation, your meals, your entertainment, all included in one price. And that is, of course, booking a cruise. This is a great option. Plus, you get to wake up in a new destination almost every day. I have found the most amazing site for finding cruises. You will never use another site once you've tried this one, seriously. It's cruiseplum.com. And what it is, is a search engine. It's not a booking site. So you're not going to book your cruise here, but you will find the one you want to book and then go book it directly with the cruise line. One of the big reasons I love this site is how many ways you can search for cruises, starting with being able to search and see prices for just one traveler. This saves so much time versus those other sites that are gonna show you these really great prices, but they're always based on two travelers, not one. Begin by clicking on Start Searching. Then select one passenger in your country of residence. So this is only for US and Canadian citizens, this particular site, so keep that in mind. Once you've done that, you will get your results. But guys, look at all the filters on the left-hand side that you can use. You've got monthly calendar, daily calendar, cruise length, price per day, total price, ports, and cruise line. I love this because let's say you only want to see cruises on Cunard. You can narrow your results to your favorite cruise lines. Also, cabins. If you're cruising to Alaska and you know you only want to book a balcony cabin, you can narrow your search to cruises with just those rooms. It saves so much time. So we want to look for a cruise under $1,000. Let's do a search with just the total price filter and select the $2,000 or less since they don't have a $1,000 or less option. And when you get the results, go over to the total cabin price heading and sort it to show least expensive to the most. Just click on it so it'll sort for you. I found a three-day cruise from Seattle to Vancouver in a mini suite on Princess for only $515 for one traveler. Don't forget, once you find your cruise on Cruise Plum, then go to the Princess site or whatever cruise line you found to actually book that cruise. You'll need to book your flight also, of course. So with a budget of $1,000, we're gonna spend 515 for the cruise. I still have enough left over to book a flight. There are so many cruise options for you and Cruise Plum makes it super easy to find one. This site was built by cruise lovers who weren't happy with existing cruise search sites, so they just built their own and it's totally free. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to travel around the entire United States? For less than $1,000, you can take a one-week train journey on Amtrak in a giant circle around North America. So the site Wanderoo has done all the research on this. The entire train trip will take you from the northeast tip of the United States, down the eastern seaboard, and across the Sun Belt, up the west coast, crossing the upper Midwest and Rust Belt, back to New England. This route will even give you the opportunity to ride on the iconic 
Coast Starlight and Empire Builder train lines. I have not done this myself, but it is on my bucket list. Look at this itinerary. I really like the idea of experiencing the United States by train, at least once. These route prices are averages and you may find cheaper tickets depending on where you begin your journey and where you end. If you don't wanna do the whole country, which let's face it, that's a lot of time on trains. <laughs> you can break this up into shorter segments and take just a shorter trip. An example of shorter routes is also on the Wanderoo site that I've linked below in the description. My plan is to take the LA to Seattle leg of a trip with a couple stops, which is only $181 for those train tickets. Out of my $1,000 budget, there's still plenty left over for flights and a hotel stay at each stop. Moving on to trip number four. So if a train ride is not your style, how about a shopper's paradise with luxury boutiques, designer stores, sprawling malls, with everything from high-end fashion to just silly souvenirs. A place where you can relax, unwind, and recharge at a resort pool, be entertained by a show, or gambling in the evening. Of course, I'm talking Vegas. It's one of my favorite getaways. Don't worry if you don't like to gamble. There's more to Vegas than casinos. Here's what you're gonna need for your Vegas trip. A hotel with a killer pool for lounging in a good location on the strip that is walkable to shopping and shows. To get a great deal to Las Vegas, I recommend searching Expedia and Priceline. You can also find some great deals on Southwest Vacations. So start with your search on Southwest Vacations because they have deals on some of the more upscale hotels. I've been to Vegas so many times and my absolute favorite place to stay is the Wind. It will be hard to find a stay at the Wind with a thousand dollar budget, but if you do book it without hesitation, it will be one of the most sumptuous vacations you have ever had, trust me. Some of my other favorite hotels for a three night getaway in Vegas are Paris, Vidara Hotel and Spa, New York, New York, Mandalay Bay, MGM Grand, Aria, and Park MGM. You'll have a good experience at any one of these. I'm going to end with a weekend getaway in a cabin in nature. Sometimes I just want a break from the hustle and bustle and I want to unplug. There's no better place to do that than in Asheville, North Carolina. A quick search on Airbnb with a budget of $500 for three nights in July gave me some great options like this cozy cottage with a pond just 10 minutes from downtown and the Biltmore Estate. I've linked that particular one in the description for you below. There are other options, of course, in this price range as well, and I'm sure you can find one that you'll love. With this trip, you're gonna need to rent a car, so to come in at the $1,000 budget, you're probably going to have to fly into Charlotte versus Asheville itself. Plane tickets into Asheville are gonna be more expensive and break your budget. Now, I was able to find plane tickets and a car rental bundled together on Priceline right at the $500 mark. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know Priceline is my go-to for bundling. If you haven't seen them, I'll link my video on scoring cheap flights in the description below. This trip will put you slightly over budget because you're gonna be spending money on food and gas. So it's the shortest trip of them all and likely the most expensive, but I think you'll love the location. Hey, you're still here. We've reached the end and so far, you can go all inclusive to Mexico, take a cruise, travel the United States by train, have some fun in Las Vegas or unplug in Asheville, North Carolina. I hope you got some inspiration to book your next solo vacation. I would really love to hear in the comments which of these trips would be your favorite. Thanks for watching.